Hi, welcome to Anderson's TV. This is Drum Addicts. I'm Tobes. And I'm Rob. And today we're looking at this rather lovely grey kit here, which I know nothing about. This is a VK kit. So VK are a Sheffield-based British drum company. They're renowned for making snare drums, but they've made a whole kit. So this kit is all made of titanium. So that's what's special about it. It gives it a certain quality and a certain prowess. It makes it quite light, so that's quite cool. So I've played metal kits before, and I've even played this kit before, so it was the first time you played, so it's quite nice to have you sort of yeah. uh, transparent and first attempt of this kit. So yeah. what did you think of playing a metal kit? Um, yeah, it is my first time playing anything um, titanium as such. It's lovely. Bottom end of the kit is fantastic for me, tuning-wise, and everything I talk about is about play durability and, and kind of how playable they are in any environment. And um, yeah, bottom end, fantastic, really wet sounding toms, um, really, really playable. And the snare, fantastic, very, very weighty snare. Um, it was, for me, it was the top end of the kit. So this six inch and this eight inch tom, um, you'll hear when I'm playing it that I found it hard to get them to blend, Rob. That was all. But that could be anything. That could be due to heads and projection as such. The heads we're using here, these lovely Evans, work beautifully on the bigger sizes. But not, it didn't feel... Um, there wasn't a lot of fluidity in the kit when I was playing from 6 all the way down to 16 as such. Um, but they're British made drums and I think you were saying earlier that they is it specify mainly in snares. Yeah, so they specialise in snares but for instance any tom, each element of the drum is, is handmade so um, the, the big bar goes into a machine, each lug is then cut, spun, drilled on the inside so it's got an inside screw lug point then the actual lug hole is is drilled so just the attention and detail and how hand built these are each individual lug tension rod then the hoops are spun and welded and then the shell is spun and welded the logo even this badge starts out as a flat plate and then it's laser engraved and this one quite clearly says drum and tie for titanium but you can have anything laser engraved because they do it all in-house all in the uk you can have your name on a badge or um, when I went to the factory there was a guy that had his entire band logo in each sort of window so if you imagine between the lugs is a window he had his band logo on every single window he had his name you can like like the snares got you can actually have the badge laser engraved all the way through rather than just etched into it so how handmade these are is what makes it special mm. to me anyway i think no, they're crafted uh, well and very well it's a huge amount of effort and they're you know they are custom i think made. you sort of club something with it and it would survive <laughs> They're, they're beautiful and you don't see many six inch toms um, that often either. That's the other thing, you wouldn't really get that in wood because a six would be a roto tom rather than an actual yeah. tom tom. So that's actually a six by seven. So it's actually taller than it is And there are round. also a huge amount of options with regards to stacking anyway. The way we had them today, you know, there's a drummer called Liam Janocchi, a uh, fantastic drummer, it was with Jerry Rafferty and he has a six inch, I uh, think a six, eight, 10, 12 in, in a kind of cluster above the the bass drum and so on so there's many many options um we we're talking about bill bruford as well with you know a continuous flow of rack um at the top but for me <clears throat> so yeah with any time of this size to get any projection we were saying earlier that these heads obviously the evans thick heads are fantastic on the 14 and 16 they do give that fat fantastic sound but if you're thinking about your six or your eight ideally to get better projection out of a six inch, you do need a better head for a six inch really. Um, so, okay, so I know very little about VK as a, as, as a brand and a product as such, but you said they were Sheffield based. What, what's the kind of history of VK drums? So such? VK have been going for about three years. Um, it's one guy, uh, but he's just actually got an apprentice, so he's making enough drums, so there's two of them. Uh, but Alan Van Cleef is the guy that crafted this kit. That's the, the VK logo is, is effectively his second initials. And 
yeah, he, he makes fantastic sort of cottage injury industry drums. So uh, uh, his workshop is in a massive, massive factory in Sheffield and he's got one corner of it that he makes drums out of and it's sort of a, a passion, a labour of love. Each one of these drums is made with love. So. And you were saying it's also locally sourced Sheffield steel. Yes. It's, so all, it's not imported, nothing. It's all... It's all Sheffield stainless steel. So the shell itself is titanium, mm -hmm. but all the hoops, the lugs, even the bass drum hoops are all Sheffield stainless steel. So same as your cutlery. So, Incredible. Well, posh cutlery if you own it. Um, it was jewellery to me and my family. I never had posh cutlery. Very nice. But Very nice. Um, yeah, the, the, each one of these drums really is hand built. So Alan really does put attention to detail. When you see like the little jigs he's got for even welding these tags onto the hoops, they're all in a jig. He can spin the hoop around, do each lug. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's only four lugs on that one, but eight on this and ten on that. So everything really is hand built. And if you saw just how much attention to detail mm -hmm. and how much effort goes into every single lug. So e even just spinning, turning, threading, polishing that one lug might take three or four minutes. And you mm -hmm. imagine how many lugs is on this kit it really shows how much time was put into building it. And, and that's quite a unique key, isn't there, also? We're yes. Look at, um, today, these particular keys here, they actually attach quite really lovely into the um, snare. Should we do that? And, uh, yeah, so they'd sort of slot in. So obviously this would be easier because you'd usually be pushing down rather than pushing sideways. So I might do that. But they slot into the actual throat like that. Very nice. And also, you were saying from a text perspective, I quite like the key, but we, we differ on opinions on this, don't we? Yeah, so, we do. Um, Toby's more old school and comes out of a cave and doesn't understand technology. Uh, <laughs> I personally think this key is really cool. So I'll show you why. It's like uh, a spanner in your toolbox on your car. It's, it's a ratchet. So you can just spin it that way as much as you like. And it doesn't do anything. But when you turn it the other way, that's the direction it's working in. So you can literally you can really quickly do a lug up because you just spin back and forth. And then if you wanted to undo it, you just flip the key over and then you can just go around the other direction. And if you want to loosen it off, you just loosen it off. Now you don't like this. I don't. Because I, it's, it's, it's too new and fiddly, isn't it? And you can't tune I, I, too far and go back again. I think it's fantastic. I do think it's fantastic. And I absolutely want to see the relevance of it from a tech perspective generally. But from a working point of view, if I was between tunes and I literally just wanted to go up and then thought, oh, hang on a minute, can I come back? I'd be thinking, oh, I've got to come back. There's noise. It's all these kind of things that during a tune or if I'm playing, I'd just be thinking that's really annoying. Um, it, it makes perfect sense. But I was just, uh, I was being very pedantic earlier about it. But it is, it's great, but uh, not for me. So it's, but it's still easier than tightening your snare with string, which is not how you used to do it, <laughs> is it? So, um, e even if you look at the key, just the detail of the key, it's got the logo on the key. So it doesn't matter how small a part, each, each individual part of these kits, you can have laser engraved. So I I've, I've saw one of these keys being made, and each individual spindle plus the actual, um, bearing inside to make it ratchet there is more than a few parts in that you'd be surprised how much effort just goes into making that key and that that is brilliant actually because in all fairness if you saw us earlier um between uh takes today i was looking for my drum key which i couldn't find which was somewhere on the floor because i put it down and if i did have that then obviously that wouldn't have happened um so yes that's and that's also a, quite an easy smooth throw off isn't it it's, it's great it's great yes it, it, it so, really is and that sits really snugly in there that's great Every single little element is just thought of and it's really well designed. Yeah.
So this is titanium kit, but as I was saying, the VK is sort of renowned for doing drums, snare drums that is. You can literally order the kit or whatever size kit you want in any of the materials that uh, VK do. So uh, I played a copper snare the other day when I was at the factory and it sounded phenomenal. I actually ordered one. I loved it that much. And this, obviously, most people have played, well, not most people, some people have played titanium snares, but not many people play titanium kit. And you really can custom order your sizes, your logos, they'll do any material. They do tube lugs as well as these sort of turret styled ones. Um, they do a really cool split lug, which is aluminium, stainless steel, aluminium, and looks mm. really like surgical and engineering, which I loved as well. Uh, but you can order, it's sort of, you can just, because it's all hand built, you can order what you what you like, what you fancy. You can really customize it and personalize it. See some of the snares they've made. They did a sort of tribute to Vic Firth and it had um, his sort of motto on it. But the, you can even have your laser engraver poem. Do you know what I mean? That's sort of sky's the limit. If you can get it on the bed of the laser cutter, you can have it engraved on the drum. It's amazing. It's really cool. And there's lots of, uh, People have bought birthday presents, like a 50th birthday present or something, and had that etched in the drum. So there's been some really cool designs, and look at their Instagram. There are already cool options and sort of inspire you to make your design and your idea a reality then. These drums, which are unusual sizes, six and eight, for mm -hmm. most people might play 10, eight, 10, 12, but to play a six as well makes it a bit more unusual. But Alan's just sort of showing what he can build, and he can build whatever the hell you like, which is the really cool thing about it. So the drums we've got today are six by seven, eight by seven, 10 by seven, 12 by eight, 14, 14, 16, 16, and then a 22, 14, and then snare is separate. Uh, they're all 1.5 millimeter titanium. So that's the special part is the shell. So mm -hmm. there we go. So that's the VK titanium kit. And uh, if you want to know any more about that kit, please look at the links below. Um, otherwise, this is Drum Edix on Anderson's TV. I've been Tobes. And I've been Rob. And we look forward to seeing you very, very soon.